I'm Engineer Talentino, welcome to Polytechnic University of the Philippines, Santa Rosa Campus. Here's another video presentation from 2014 graduating batch of Electronics and Communication Engineering. I hope you enjoy watching this video. Hi, I'm Charles. Menchi. Dave. And I'm Marco. We are the representative from the Polytechnic University of the Philippines, Santa Rosa Campus. We are here to present our thesis study under the supervision and advisory of engineer Rosalito E. Talentino. Our study is entitled Controlling Mouse Functions Using Kinect in Emulating Interactive Whiteboard. Right, right, turn off the lights. We're gonna lose some minds tonight. What's the deal? An interactive whiteboard is a large physical display panel that can function as a computer projector screen on which it projects the computer's desktop onto the board surface. The user controls the computer using device driver usually installed so that the interactive whiteboard can act as a human input device like a mouse. The mouse allows a user to control the motion a computer cursor and selects objects on the screen by moving and clicking the device. As the pointer or the other device may be used to activate programs, buttons, and menus from the whiteboard itself. These actions seem similar to writing on a standard whiteboard or using the mouse when working on the computer. Several works from the past have tried to emulate the functions of an interactive whiteboard in a less expensive manner using other and available technologies since it is so expensive when purchased in the market. The only problem is they still use hardwares and peripheral devices to control the different mouse functions. This contradicts to the idea of a natural interaction between human and the computer. To emulate the functions of an interactive whiteboard and control the mouse functions without the use of the mouse and other peripheral devices, the researchers use the depth sensing capability of the Kinect. So, here's a short demo on how the system works. Kinect sensor will capture the depth data from the user. Using Microsoft Kinect SDK, we are able to get the output from the sensor and use the data for the Kinect and computer to communicate. This depth data is used to relate the user's hand position to mouse cursor's position onto the computer screen. Once the skeletal tracking is successful, the user will be able to point and select to the projected screen by just moving his or her hands. Left and right click will be activated once the user performs the predefined gesture. Mouse cursor's movement is controlled using the user's right hand, while the clicking functions are performed using the user's left hand. Left click is represented by push to press gesture. Right click is represented by a swipe away from head gesture. And double click and dragging operation is just a combination of the said gestures. To perform double click, you just have to perform the push to press gesture twice. And for dragging operation, push to press is steadily performed while the right hand will hover to the screen where you want to place the specific object. Here are some additional demos of controlling different Windows applications using the developed system.
one. I see full of sharks and they all smell blood. They start coming and I start rising. Must be surprising. I'm just surmising. I win, rise, soar, higher, higher. Probably started off like me You may say that I'm a freak show But give it just a little time I bet you're gonna change your mind All of the dirt you've been throwing my way It ain't so hard to take Cause I Just look away Yeah, I'll just look away